Okay guys, so in today's video, I am going to be, uh, answering questions for the 2,000 subscriber Q&A. The first question is, um, are you alive? That is a pretty good question, uh, I'm making this video right now, so yeah, I would say that I'm alive. Do you play Funky Friday? I do not, and I never have. I have, like, I, like, know what it is, it's like some type of music game, but, like, I never played it. Anyways, the next question, um, who did you favor in the WC before anyone got eliminated? Football or soccer is this called? Right answers only. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't really watch football or soccer or whatever anyone watching this video calls it, so, um, like, I mean, I do sometimes, but, like, not enough to where I actually, like, really care to, like, root for a team, like, I'll, like, watch a game every now and then, but that's about it. We'll leave this question up for discussion in the comments. What do you guys think? Have I ever had a cat? No, I'm allergic to cats, so I've never had a cat, and I hope I never have a cat. Most fun video you filmed? Um, yeah, I, d I don't really know. I'd have to look into that, but, um, yeah, I definitely do enjoy the types of videos, like, where, um, because, like, I used to do a, a lot of different types of videos where I would either film videos with friends or I would, like, be playing the game itself or something. Or, like, doing a, like, or even, like, just, like, stuff like live streaming. Like, where I get to just, um, just play the game and just, uh, talk to people. Like, that's nice. I enjoy, like, stuff like that. So that's why live streaming I like a lot. The reason I didn't live stream for a while, though, is just because I got busy. But yeah, I've been live streaming again the past, like, week or two, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna definitely start getting into doing more streams again. So yeah, I don't know exactly what the most fun videos film I filmed is off the top of my head. Future content since MM2 is dead. I've been trying to think of other content to film for a while, but every time I try to film other content, it usually just doesn't get enough views or, like... People aren't as interested in it, doesn't get as much retention. So, I don't know, I'm just going to keep doing MM2 at the moment. I would like to have something else, though, because there's only so much content I can make on MM2. It just gets repetitive. It's basically just giveaways and then just 1v1ing and stuff like that. If you ever had to be the president of any country, which would it be? I'm going to choose my home country because uh, I live here, so... Yeah, I'd like to be the president of the country I lived in if I could choose one. Rank me on your favorite YouTuber list. I don't have a favorite YouTuber list. I just watch stuff on my recommended page. Next up goal, well, at the time you made that, I'd say it would probably been like 2,000 because that was made a while ago, but, um... Uh... My future sub goals, I don't really have... Like, I just, like, want to keep going up, so I just, like, want to... Get to the next hundred, then to the next thousand, and then the next big one's gonna be like three thousand, then five thousand, then ten thousand, and then yeah, hopefully we just keep going up from there. Ideally, one day I would like to get ten million, and that's because like uh, a few years ago, like before I even like uh, knew anything about like creating videos on YouTube, I saw a video of the Diamond Play Button and thought it looked cool. So ever since then. Kind of cool thing. So yeah, leads me into the dream subscriber goal. Yep, my dream subscriber goal is 10 million subscribers because it would be cool to have that plaque. It looks nice. And also, that's just like a huge milestone. You think you can ever get a silver plaque? Okay, so as for gold and diamond, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get those. But um, considering uh, it took me like about three years to get a thousand subscribers, and it took me like about a year and a year and one month to after I hit a thousand to hit two thousand so I am like getting subscribers faster now and I've been gaining like there's some months in a row where I've gained over a hundred subscribers so I think eventually I don't know how long it would take but I feel like if I keep doing YouTube then I feel like eventually I could get a silver plaque I could get to 100k but like at the same time though 
like earlier, MM2 being dead, like, there's only so much growth that you can get off of one day, so at the same time, it's like, if I don't switch, yeah, I don't know, but, yeah, I think I could eventually, realistically. If MM2 somehow gets banned, what game would you continue to play? I'd have to find something that I like to play that I don't hate and that you guys would actually watch that or I could just create another channel. But, um, right off the moment, like, if you would have asked me a few months ago, because the past few years I've always wanted to do jailbreak content, but now jailbreak's just kind of getting annoying, so it's like... Yeah, I don't know off the top of my head, I might just... I might just, like, do be one of those YouTubers that, like, does, a uh, that just, like, plays a few game, like, just try to get an audience on a few games. Like, one of those YouTubers that just, like, explores, like, many new games and stuff. Just so I wouldn't be trapped in one game anymore, and then I could also just, like, uh, reach out to many audiences. So I think that's what i do. I would just, like, look at popular Roblox games. What's your dad's name? Who knows, I might reveal that in a future video if we get, I don't know how many subscribers, I'd have to make a goal for that. Favorite MM2 gun? See, so yeah, I'd say my favorite MM2 gun is probably Laser Vintage. I don't, like, I can't really see my inventory right now, but if I had to say one that I can think of off the top of my head, I'd say probably Laser Vintage and then for MM2 knife. My favorite would probably be Ghost Blade if I had to guess. Yeah, but I just like switch weapons a lot because I have a lot. But yeah, I have like a lot of other weapons that I also really like as well. Would you ever do TikTok? Absolutely not. Would you ever do YouTube Shorts? Yeah, before you made this, I did a few, and then ever since you said this, and then like you and some other people were saying in another channel about how I should start doing YouTube Shorts, I have started to do more YouTube Shorts more often, and they've been really successful, so thank you and a few others for like uh, giving me the idea to do that. So yeah, I am going to continue doing YouTube Shorts for sure. Definitely a good idea. Have you ever had a girlfriend? Yes, I don't anymore, but I did at one point. Favorite candy slash snack? Like I'd say, probably just like a bag of, just like a plain bag of chips or maybe like barbecue flavored chips. And then for candy, I'd say probably for like a Milky Way since it has like caramel in it as well or a Kit Kat or Reese's, those are nice as well. Do you still like MM2? Uh, yeah, it's like, I've got out of it a lot. Like, um, there's like a year or two where it's like, I wasn't really in the game at all. I just kept making content on it. And now it's like, because of like the Halloween event update, and especially like, when, when I'm doing a live stream, it helps since like, um, it's not boring, really. So, uh, I'd say that like, MM2 like, can get boring, but like, yeah, I still like it. It's fun at times. There's certain times where I get back into it, it's just, like, fun to play. Especially if you don't play it for a while, then you play it again, then it's, like, fun to play again. Anyways, let's go to questions on YouTube. Okay, so, we're just gonna... I have contains questions put on here, so... Some of these will be questions, some of these won't. How do you play on iPad? By using a keyboard or just with your finger? Uh, so, I do, like, um... When I play on my iPad, since I got the iPad Pro last year, so I think when this comment was made, I had it for, I had the iPad Pro for probably about like three months or so, and I still have it, so yeah, I definitely, um, use my finger a lot. You can't really play the game using your keyboard, you can only type using the keyboard, but it is really efficient typing using it, so I do use that. And then, like, editing and other stuff, um the keyboard is really useful. You met no data? Uh, I have. It was this video right here. Yeah, um, I was, like, in the same game as no data, so I just got to go through his inventory real quick, made a YouTube short off. It got almost, like, a th around a thousand views-ish, something around that. So, pretty good. Also, what did you do to get banned from Hypixel in the first place? Oh, so, yeah, um, uh, how I got banned from Hypixel was, um, it was, it was a false ban. Like, basically, it said, like, Hypixel said that, um, either there was a password change or someone hacked into my account or I was using a VPN. And it said, one of these reasons is why you got banned. So then I was able to appeal the ban. 
And, um, yeah, I'm no longer banned on Hypixel now. I can get back on now, so that's pretty nice. What did you do? Oh, yep, I got a community guideline strike. Thankfully, that wasn't on this channel. That was on another channel, but still, like, I didn't even do anything. I was just, like, doing a video showcasing something, and then just got taken down. When am I online? Yeah, just whenever. Where did you order them? Uh, the Darkbringer, um, I made that a long time ago. I don't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure I got it off of Amazon. Let's see. Do you make any money yet? Well, I mean, I have a job, so I do make money, but as for YouTube, and the answer to that is no, I do not. I have everything. I have the subscribers, the video uploads, shorts views you don't need if you get watch hours. So yeah, I just need watch hours in the past year. That's the difficult part. Because you need 3,000, which don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I could to get uh memberships but that are, but that involves you guys paying for stuff but for me to just like actually make money like through watch page ads yeah i need four thousand so and then i can apply that doesn't even mean i get it i still have to apply for it so yeah i hope i can make money in the future gotta get some more watch hours see i'm ideally i hope that i can do that in the future anyways let's go back to the questions so um would you ever go for leaderboard? Um, yeah. Well, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't go for like a grinding leaderboard. If I ever were to go for a leaderboard, it would most likely be the gifting leaderboard for Christmas. Which I um, don't know if I'm gonna do that. But if I were to ever go for a leaderboard, that's the one I'd go for. To actually get a grinding leaderboard, someone else would have to do basically all the work for me because I do not feel like doing that. I need my sleep and ability to do other things. Do you know how quickly I'd get bored of collecting candies for just like an hour? That would get boring so fast. I couldn't do that. I need to get so much Robux. I buy it. Should you sneak out of your house to buy Robux cards for Halloween MM2? Uh, eh, if you want to. <laughs> That's your choice. How are you so rich? Um... I just played him too for a long time. I did a lot of trading when I first started. Like one, like once you get that one godly, and especially like I think it was a uh, 2019 or 2020. I bought the Eternal Eternal Cane one year. I forget what year it came out. If it was 2019 or 2020, it was somewhere around that. And then like the next year, I bought the Eternal Four. Once uh, it came out, since like Murder Mystery 2 used to sell Eternals on their merchandise website, you could buy a shirt and you'd get an Eternal code. So I got like those, and then did some trading, got a crap ton of value, and then I just did a lot of trading back then to the point where I don't really hardly ever like um, trade now, and my inventory still su sustained itself to where I could to do giveaways. But I do have to start. I have realized that I have to start, like, doing some more trading every now and then because, yeah, it's been a few years. The inventory's been lasting a long time, but, yeah, I have to start to do trading again if I'm going to keep doing giveaways. Because I'm fine right now, but eventually I will run out of stuff, so that's why I'm doing some trading so I don't run out of stuff. Can we 1v1? Oh, yeah, um, I did a few videos where I 1v1 fans. Um, yeah, sure, like, uh, if we're ever... Like, uh, yeah, sure, we can 1v1. I don't, I don't know when, but, like, yeah, if, like, we can find out a time, then, yeah, I'll 1v1 you. Can I 1v1 you? Yep. Same thing with him. Yeah, you can 1v1 me. Can we 1v1? Yep, you can 1v1. Anyone who wants to 1v1 me can 1v1 me. We just have to work out a time. When are you doing a face reveal? Okay, guys, so, um, for, uh, my face cam, uh, the recording kind of glitched, so, um, you know, like, uh, like made the audio sound really weird so now i'm i'm not recording this on my um webcam now but i'm recording this on my phone afterwards since it did that so uh 
yeah, there's still probably about, like, 10 minutes left in the video, but all that's gone now. But, yeah, so, uh, this is my face. This, sometimes I'll wear glasses. This is what I look like with glasses on. And, yeah. So, thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for getting me to over 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. Anyways, uh, that'll be it for this video. Comment below what I should do for 3,000. Anyway, subscribe and bye.